Hello everyone, King Benji over here and you are welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to be working with text in Canva. This is going to be learning how to work with text in Canva. I'm going to show you how to bring in a text, um, you know, the different stuff and also some tips, some of my tips on using text with Canva, all right? Or in design in general. Okay, so I'm just going to do this one here and if you want to bring in a text, I'm just going to click on this plus icon here and I'm just going to go to this T that has text, all right? And I'm just going to click on add a text box. All right. So let's say I want to edit what's inside. I'm just going to double tap. <laughs> double tap. I'm just going to tap on it. I really. And then I just put in whatever I want to do. And or I can just go to this side here. And this I'm going to post paste in something there. Jesus joy. Okay. So if you want to change the font, you can come over here. I'm going to talk about this one shortly. Um, if you want this is if you want to increase the font size. You can also tap on here and okay, just put in whatever you want to put in there. Okay. Or you can also increase the font size from here. All right. And if you want to reduce the width of it, you can just tap here. Okay. These two sides here. Just to reduce the width of the text box. If you want to increase this, increase it, just tap on these circles here. Okay. Great. I'm going to even be leaving it like this. Okay, so this is if you want to change the color. Let me change it to my favorite cup purple. This is the format. If you want to make it bold, this is want to make it left aligned, align, center aligned, right aligned, justified. Uh, justified. Justified. If if you're at there are a lot of words here, you will see how justified really looks like. Right? Um, this is for it looks if you want to underline the text. Um, if you want to make it all caps, go to that double A there. And this, if you want to add a bullet or if you want to keep, make it numbered. All right. I'm just going to remove all this. Uh, I'm going to make it center aligned and probably going to leave it as bold. Okay. So now spacing. I have the letter spacing. I think I've talked about this before. And then the line spacing. If I bring it down like this, you can see the line spacing. Okay. It's just the space between the words. Different lines, okay. So it's gonna be at 1.4. This anchor text box, I've still not understood it till now, anyways. Um, then you have the effects now. Let's dwell on this one a bit, okay. So, effects you have shadow, lift, hollow, splice, echo, glitch, um, neon. Um, I'm just show you down like this, all right. And then there is the background, okay. Now, let's just talk about them just small small now for shadow i'm just going to give you tips on how to use this or should i do it now now let me do when i finally change the font <laughs> or does my bias for font size question that all right um this is for animate um kind of has some animations for text right this it has page animations has animations for text so you can see all of them there this is transparency position notch comment link and um, other stuff I think you guys should already understand this by all those ones by now because it's in the previous video all right if you haven't watched that one please go watch it again okay so first of all fonts all right now um first of all it's not all the fonts you have to use <laughs> it's i think what makes design nice is the kind of fonts you use right um some of my best fonts are fonts like codec pro um let's say montserrat montserrat is also one of my favorites and all these ones I'm talking about, they are free. Um, let's say TT norms. Let's basically go for fonts that, you know, give a very nice vibe. Or um, Lato. Lato is mostly for financial institutions. All right. But uh, by the way, if you want to search for a text or anything, you can just, when you go to the search bar here, you just tap on the search bar you see all those ones like handwriting corporate display headings and other stuff right if you tap on any one of them let's say for sans serif here you see different fonts associated now the ones that have crown are pro all right the ones that have crown are pro so these are different 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 um so fonts that you can use i think i also love this one this um I don't know what the name is it's a sort nord something yeah i think i love it um and there are other ones here okay 
and like I said earlier, there are funds that you can use, and there are funds that you shouldn't actually use, to be honest, <laughs> because they are like <laughs> design destroyers. Okay, so it can, there's also Serif here. This is for like maybe your fashion brands and you know the rest. So they are different. They present three different fonts which you can use here. Okay, and then you have maybe if you want to search for a script, you can just probably just type it, and it's going to show you all the script fonts and so on and so forth all right same thing if you search for let's say heading you're looking for a heading for your design or your carousel or something you can see different stuff here okay i think i gave um if you want to find some some of my best friends being i gave some tips on my instagram page it's gonna go there okay so i'm just gonna go to my page here I think it's down. Yeah, so it is this post here. Okay, you can just go and check it out. I'm leaving the link to this below this video. So I said, Serif fonts and Serif elegant, rounded, vintage, handwriting fonts, corporate, and the rest. All right, so let's just get back to the video. So it's not to make it wrong or to Canva. All right. Okay, so next, I'm just going to go to um, the spacing. Okay, so now. One thing that I've noticed a lot of people do is they give excess space into their text. Okay, especially when they now want to make it a heading or just put it here. I feel that like that is so wrong. Instead, just leave it at zero or just increase it a bit or maybe to like 100. Okay, leave it to like 100 or something like that. You do not need to make it so much. Also, in terms of excess spacing, when you're doing your line spacing, it doesn't need to be so much. Let me let me see. Let me put it like this. I'm going to write more text. Jesus, joy is my strength. Let's say this was what you wanted to do as um, you wanted to make it like a carousel or something, or you wanted to see it as a flyer or something. Now just see how long, or you can see how too spaced out this is. And a lot of people make this mistake. They make this mistake. Some will leave it at this. All right. They might just go and leave it at this. Now, this is wrong. Instead, you reduce it. Because you want whoever that is coming to see it to read it quickly and read it like easily. Right. And also, the letter spacing, you can make this zero. Or, I love making it. I love reducing it. Because it makes my text kind of look different. So, I reduce it within the range of minus. I would say for you. So you're just starting to use I'll say minus um minus 20 to one minus 20 to um to zero sorry minus 20 to zero don't go as far as me <laughs> me i can take it as far as until when um i feel it's fit but i think for you as you're just starting out using it it was minus 20 to zero i think that's much better okay because it makes it look closer and does something somebody can easily read faster because you want to keep the attention or gain the attention quickly okay so jesus joy is my strength after that, I'm just going to show you about effects. Now, I'm going to talk about them now, um, one after the other. Now, this is shadow, okay? Now, for shadow, one thing that you sh you can actually increase the blur, all right? You can increase this to increase the blur. This is for the offset. Now, let me show you what offset does. As I increase this, you can see how this one kind of like comes down like this. Let me show you again. I'm going to just reduce it. See, it goes out zoom in so you see it very well okay so one trick you can do is you can make the direction to be at the middle all right direction if you go here it goes to the top you go like this still goes to the top up this one goes more to the right and this one goes more to the left all right if you put it here it goes down thus to the middle okay so if you are increasing the offset you can now see how down it now goes all right so I'm not going to now increase the blur, something like that. So one mistake you must avoid is increasing the transparency so much, especially if it's on a white background. You do not want the transparency to be too much. You just reduce it to about, um, let's see, 15 or let's see, 20. No, 15 is actually good. 15, all right? Within the range of 0 to 15, that's actually quite okay. That's actually quite okay. Especially if I now change this to black. All right, that's something that looks so subtle. And not something, I think the blur is kind of much, even just the blur, the offset is much. 
and stuff like that. So, so it kind of like looks much better now. Not the one that you're not going crazy like this. <laughs> it's kind of looks so weird if you do it like that. Okay, you have to kind of respect the text and also respect the audience too, or whoever you're doing the design for or your business, right? Okay, so another one we're going to talk about is lift. Now, lift is an effect I tend to avoid a lot of the times because it's supposed to be like shadow. Well, like shadow, I can't actually control anything. You know, in shadow, we could control the whole offset and stuff. But this one is just here and just like that. So I would advise you not to use it, especially if you want to form the whole shadow effect thingy. I would just go and you just can use shadow and just do what I told you. But if you want to use this one, you know, within the, it does do within the range of, um, let's say, 0 to 25, I think. 0 to 25. It's much better. Like that. Or 30. All right? Because you don't want it to look so awkward. You don't want it to look so awkward. Okay, this is a an effect I used to use like mad before, but as I got better, I realized that now nah, it's not really, it wasn't really going to help me in any way. Okay, another one is hollow. For hollow, you can just increase the thickness and reduce this. We think we're going to use this to create a design later or right, see designs actually. All right, this is for hollow. Next one is splice. These are ones I really do not use so much. Use your easier to increase the thickness to this one to do the offset. You know, if you increase it like this, it goes down, reduce, goes back up. So I think it's just better to leave it at 50 or 60. Alright, just to give that nice um kind of sheen on it. Alright, um then direction just shows why that I think I'm gonna be using it now because it looks kind of you know sexy in a way. <laughs> Alright, and then you can give it the color you want it to have. I think I'm just gonna go back to what it was before. I think that color is actually much better. I think for the thickness, it just reduces the thickness there. All right. Next is echo. This one just has the offset and the direction. So offset down and then direction. So the same thing as how we usually, you know, set it. Can I use here to change the color? Let's say you want to change the color of it or something. Okay. The next is glitch glitch you might not really see the effect on it when you wipe background so i'm just going to make this um, black so great so now you can see it's quite better all right so it also has the same you know thing, and you can also change the colors here all right these are effects i most times don't use probably used to use them before but uh i just these are the only shadow i use actually and then there's neon okay there is neon and then to change the color of this background back to white yeah so you can see it very well to reduce the intensity you're just gonna go there and then just use intensity or increase it okay and the next one is background 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 you can also do that i prefer to just do this um or i don't actually use it at all to be honest um this is to increase the roundness of it okay if you want it to just be like out straight like this which i would normally do um can also do that. this is to increase the spread or just to reduce it I think 50 is better and then this is for the transparency of it i think there's also to change the color now you can change the color over here let's say it's this color or that color you know you can just play with it as you see fit okay um next one is the curve wow it's i think it's combined both the kind of combining both so i think i'm just gonna go back here i'm going to reduce the yep let's reduce that so i'm gonna go to the um i'm gonna go to curve and you can see how it hovers like that you can increase it all right or you can just reduce it if you're reducing it it's going to turn upwards all right great so that's that about that um i think that'll be <laughs> that should be all about this video i don't want to oh my god it is already like uh there's so much time in this most of the other things about text we're going to be learning them in uh videos to come we will do some tricks and all but um that's not over i mean not overwhelm you guys in this one video all right so um the next video i'm just going to show you some other tricks text tricks all right and uh going to see probably like create a design and stuff and the rest okay so i will see you guys in the next one Goodbye.